The movement drew massive crowds across the country, all demanding for the reunification of those migrant families and condemning the president's immigration policy through peaceful but loud protesting. Cries for justice echoing off city streets across the country. Saturday, at least 100,000 marched in more than 700 planned protests, all unified under the same banner, families belong together. From New York, where crowds marched across the Brooklyn Bridge, to Texas along the southern border. I worry about the world that my kids are growing up in. The movement calls for the Trump administration to swiftly reunite the roughly 2,000 migrant children still separated from their families, most after illegally crossing the border. This week, a federal judge in California ordered to have the separated children back within 30 days. Customs officials say about 500 have been reunited. Don't give up! Don't give in! At a few of the biggest rallies, the stars came out. Someday, someday. In D.C., we spoke to Lynn Manuel Miranda, just outside the White House. Everyone with a shred of compassion has thought, what if that was my child? Or if they don't have children, what if that was me separated from my parents? On stage, Alicia Keys preached vigilance. We're not backing down. Out west, tens of thousands swarmed the streets of L.A. We're going to be in these streets until the children are reconnected with their parents. Do you think those children will be reunited with their parents in a timely manner? Absolutely not. I have no trust. And on a day dedicated to the rights of children, the biggest moment may have come from one of the smallest voices. This is evil. It needs to stop. Many will find 12-year-old Leah's message hard to forget. It makes me sad to know that children can't be with their parents. I don't understand why they are being so mean to us children. Don't they know how much we love our families? Don't they have a family too? Again, customs officials aren't saying what the plan is for reuniting the roughly 2,000 children still separated. But the activists and organizers of yesterday's movement say they want to use this momentum to keep people engaged enough to make a difference at the ballot box. Willie. All right, Steve Patterson getting us started in L.A. this morning. Steve, thanks very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.